Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about that time. Woo, what Birdman say, we did it already. <laughs> you did. We did it already. Hey, y'all, check this out. Welcome back to episode a uh, nickel, episode five. What you want to say about that, Mr. Cinco? Fine? And my name is Mr. James Mack here um, with you. And this is Mr. Flowers. Go ahead and say something to the people, it's Mr. The Flowers. It's the fantastic one. Um, but yeah, man, so we got, we got you know, episode five going on. We uh, have a huge, huge show here going on this evening. Uh, we're going to be talking about reparations. Yeah. More importantly, America, y'all owe us millions of dollars. Millions. Millions is, a, I think that's kind of an understatement. Um, I think it. I think it's more. You know, they made trillions and trillions and quadruple trillions and all that good stuff on cotton. Off cotton. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they still making millions on millions on millions on cotton. Yeah. You for know? sure. For sure. And so, yeah, you know, uh, America is considered the richest country in the world. Facts. Based on the backs of our ancestors. And that's what's crazy because we we really about to we really about to get into letting y'all know how they trying to set it up right now with the PPP loan scandal and all that to really put y'all back into slavery. But I'm gonna touch on that in just a minute. <laughs> you feel me? They got a plan for you. Um, I just want to take this time to let y'all know y'all watching the status podcast. All right. We talking about a various number of issues. If you're looking for the shucking and jiving, if you're looking for somebody to walk on crates, um, you know, to go in here dancing and doing all this here, we not here for that. We bringing the issues that's affecting our community. We even get into some deep stuff. We even going to go back sooner or later and get to some real deep stuff. But, you know, we bringing in the news that you can use. This is a call-in show, so we most definitely want y'all to feel free. The number is down at the bottom. You see it. Go ahead and call in. And more importantly, share this live like this is so important because you know when somebody get knocked out or somebody got their wig snatched off or something y'all hurry up and push the, the the share button and share that you know what i mean but with this something positive i don't see too many of y'all sharing the motivational speakers or the entrepreneurs man come on now step your game up because that's what we talking about right now maybe we was on here talking about black women and talking about how they look like linebackers and Mm. Now, all that kind of stuff. How my boy Kevin Samuels used to do. Maybe they, yeah. maybe they'll share it then. And maybe, we we gonna start we talking get, about that. Maybe we get thousands of followers <laughs> at that point. We gonna start talking about that too. You better go and get in the gym. <laughs> we gonna start talking about that. But more importantly, like I said, we are trying to bring the issues to the to the real to the forefront. That's how we are gonna build our platform. Yeah, we are gonna have some good guests on here real soon in this middle part. But we want y'all to know, you know, stay tuned. Support, support, support. Press that that um that live button share that you know what i mean go ahead and um subscribe to the youtube and everything to the facebook instagram all that old type of stuff come on in with us get them likes up get them like what that man said we're gonna wait until y'all get them likes <laughs> up but we really ain't though but <laughs> you know, so we go you know keep it moving like that this is a call-in show but please please feel more than uh comfortable to go ahead and give us a call we want to hear what you got to say man this is important to us i know y'all just getting off work go and kick them shoes off yeah you know uh get in front get your glass of wine get and sit some wine and sit in front of that that laptop that computer yeah you know and, and do the doggone thing just you know because we're about to give you some news you can use and so it's very interactive you know what i mean and it's not gonna blow your fuse all right so first things first check this out what we talking about today is America owe us millions of dollars. They owe us millions of dollars, period, point blank. All right. Why they owe us millions of dollars? I was talking to someone about this and they were saying, well, America doesn't owe you anything. And I was like, America doesn't owe us anything. We're going to get to the facts in a minute here, Mr. Flowers. Mm. We're going to get to the facts because America do owe us something. You know? Well, ima- imagine if if somebody came to your to, if if you went and got somebody, picked somebody up out of their yard, <laughs> right? Out the yard, you know, and brought them to your yard and said, "Dog, go to you gonna mow this grass, and you gonna you gonna rake this yard, yeah. you gonna build this, you gonna you know you just gonna build you just gonna build everything, right? You know, and then they do it so well 
that you then say, okay, well, I think we might be on to something. So let's go ahead and get his sister, his brothers, up to his mama, his dad, his cousins, our whole nine yards. Let's bring all of them over here. Right. And force them. Yeah. To do the manual labor. The manual labor. Back breaking. You say they bought us over here. Oh, no, of course. Okay. You know, and of course, you know, if, if you look at history, if you look at the, you know, saying the, the dialogue yeah. of everything, yes, the original slaves right. were um, POWs. Prisoners of war. Correct. For people that don't understand it, prisoners of war. How so? How were they prisoners of war? Because at that time, um, the Africans and the um, Spaniards, you mm-hmm. know, the England, yeah. you know, uh, they at that point of time had a had an arrangement, right? And so um, the, the initial slaves, the, mm-hmm. the, the first slave ship, mm-hmm. and, and we're gonna get into a whole. I, I'm, I'm gonna give you the Morpheus, right? Yeah. You got the red pill and the blue pill, right? The red pill, you go back, you you cut your teeth, you cut your computer off, and you don't want to hear anything, right? But the blue one, we go down the rabbit hole as far as the rabbit hole takes us, mm-hmm. right? And so the first slave ship, right, was with and the name of the original slave ship was Jesus of Lubbock. That was the original. The first not, slave not ship. Santa Maria. No, the okay. first slave ship, the name of it was Jesus of Lubbock. That's a fact. That's a fact. Right? Yeah. And so that's where the Jesus comes from. Right. Right? And so Jesus of Lubbock actually didn't even come to the Americas. Jesus of Lubbock was was the ship that landed in what they call Haiti. Right. You know, and so um so you have that you have you have Jesus of Lubbock that landed in Haiti. Mm-hmm. Haiti those they didn't come to America. So right. that is actually where slavery started. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And so yes, the the original slaves didn't touch the Americas mm-hmm. until what the sixteen nineteen? Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me throw this in there because it's important. Right. We had African, um, I, I guess you can call them, um, I guess you can call them sailors. We had African sailors that was moving about the world before Columbus, before any of them Spaniards even started sailing. Merchants, you know what I mean? So they was traveling and they was in in boats and things like that. Going coming to it, they already had came to America. They well, they it. was trading with the with the natives yeah. at that point of time. So a lot of the things that was already over here, if you think about it, like you know um, the black eyed peas and a lot of the a lot of the vegetables we as Americans have c- grown accustomed to. Yeah, most of that is not the origin even even North America. Yeah, cows and things like that. They got that the, stuff from the, Africa. The origin is yeah. Africa, right? You know what I'm saying? And so. Um, they was uh, that's why I said merchants when you was going through your description. Yeah. They were merchants because they was actually that was the um what we now know as the American China mm-hmm. um uh, uh embargo. Right. At that point it was the African um native right America's right embargo. Right. So uh, Africa was already coming over here yeah. trading um their current whatever currency. And we talking they about had. way back. We talking about right. with the the ancient Aztecs. We talking about they was half African. You right. know, with the big noses and carrying on. Right. They they was already, you know, they had came from Egypt with the pyramids and things like that, exactly. brought that technology. So we talking about way, you know, they was already in California. They was already well, in Well, you know, California is actually the name of an actual um, Egyptian, oh, not Egyptian, but an African uh, uh, queen. You see what I'm saying? Right. Carlo, Carlo, Ka- Cali <laughs> yeah. is, is the actual name. Um, and of course, it goes way more in depth. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have, you have California, who's, a, who's the name of an African uh, goddess, a- African queen. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we're not going to even get into Charlotte. Right. And then. Oh, my goodness. That's a whole other story. We're going right. to touch that. And so there's there's actual little inklings of yeah. or intricacies mm-hmm. of different names and different um, um, Morrisville, right? All that different type of stuff. So, right, you know, even Washington D.C. was actually designed and created by a black person, which oh. is why they call it Chocolate City. Man, we are gonna get into that for sure. <laughs> we, 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 I, you be touching on them, <laughs> but go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish that. But anyway, but we was talking about how they owe us. Yeah, yeah. 
everything comes from the mother, which is why it's called the motherland. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so um, we was already coming over. Well, when I say we, I'm talking about African. Yeah, you know, we um, was already coming we over. We was already coming over. Yeah. Which is why um, we actually gave them um, the Spaniards and the British and so forth. We actually gave them the root yeah, gave the, them some the understanding. Route right. of how to get here. Yeah, gave them some understanding. Every and the, the, the actual current, right? Actually, you know, that's the, the well known. Every hurricane takes that same current, right? And everybody said that's the you know, that's the the, the uh, the ancestor spirits coming, mm-hmm. you know, moving. No, it's the, it's the current that they've been using since the beginning of time, and they was watching the stars because we was master sellers in the first place coming off the Gold Coast, coming off of places like that. So they already watched the stars and knew how to get back. That was the GPS is watching the stars watching the moon and they can get back to where they need to get to right master astrologers you know what i mean right. but i also want to uh touch on one one subject as well now we do have a situation where we had the moors you know what i mean the, morocco the, for those I mean? you know for those who trying to figure out where, yeah. where the origin of moors come from now these was the richest black people um besides some other people on the other side of africa but on the gold coast this was some of the richest individuals the moors um and they was all the way up in italy and everything they used to get worshipped by you know white people especially in like europe and stuff like that well not necessarily europe but like in uh italy rome and stuff like that because they was rich africans but they helped initiate the whole uh movement with the with the slave they helped talk slaves into being traded and they used to get spices they used to get gold all different type of things to help y'all get on the ship it's gonna be all right come on and when y'all get down there on the coast they got guns they got all type of stuff get up on here now and they used to cross to help you understand that this is a new world a new religion is gonna be better than what you got here trust me they ain't never seen no ship this side they ain't never seen nobody with no pistols and no guns they never even seen people with fireworks um all different type of spices clothing jewels that they came from um europe with and, and stuff like that so um you dealing with some advanced africans that actually sold us out unfortunately i have to say it like that that sold us out in the first place well you have to understand even in, you have to even go back a little further okay uh, because the, the mali empire right the mali okay um was actually the richest that's where your master musa came from master musa richest person and, in the and, world and for and for those who don't know who master musa is bill gates do your homework elon musk None of these cats have nothing on master but actually they're getting ready to make a movie about master do musa. your homework but master Cor- musa corrupted is, countries by giving away gold throwing so, it in the air so so as a kid mm-hmm. i don't know I, I don't think my kids know anything about you know, uh, the my, King Midas. Okay. The Midas touch everything he touched turned to gold. Man. So King Midas is actually this knowledge, y'all. King Midas is actually derived yeah. from Massa Musa because Massa Musa was so rich, so rich, the richest man ever on the planet Still Earth to this day. Um, he was so rich that he literally used to bankrupt countries. Yes. When he would go into them by mm. giving away gold. Talk that talk. So that's why. So so that is one of the main reasons why the Anglo Saxons, right? You know the Spaniards that's and the white British people. and so that's forth. Co- you know that's why they came to Africa because yeah. they wanted to, and they could not defeat him. He was mm-hmm. so powerful they couldn't defeat him. Crazy. So argument. going back to what you was describing as as far as the Moors is concerned, mm-hmm. the Moors setting us out. Mm-hmm. It was the fact that the firearms, mm-hmm. and that this is how far back firearms go. Yeah. Because built by the Chinese people. Right. So mm-hmm. firearms is what took out yeah. Mount Samus. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. how and that's how the Europeans and so forth, you know, infiltrated yeah. the Mali Empire. Yeah. And then of course after they took over the Mali Empire, then they start migrating and start, you know, mm-hmm. um settling in all different parts of Africa. Yeah. Because once they got rid of the hub yeah you know then then it was it was it was over from there so let's get some more understanding the people that started this trade was spaniards spanish people these wasn't your know, europeans that was in europe these were spaniards spaniards they was the master sellers they was the people going to queen elizabeth 
these other queens and, and getting a blessing to go ahead and do these type of journey. They got funded by Europe to do these journeys. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, Britain and things like that. They they got funded to go out there and they failed numerous times, lost boats and everything. But when they hit and they they found another, you know, they was doing spices, they was doing fireworks, they was doing all this, and then they hit for some. Absolutely, we hit for some. Absolutely. You know, um, you know the, the 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 smartest people, you know, and, and granted they could like to call us dumb and stupid and so forth, but that's mm -hmm. just it is what it is. But coming from the master astrologers, mm -hmm. the master builders, mm -hmm. um, of course, fashion, master sellers, master you know? sellers, yeah. Um, of course, uh, fashion and all that mm -hmm. stuff comes from the Moors. Yeah. So your alligator shoes and your, and your silk ties, all type of gold necklaces, all of that stuff, all of that stuff yeah. comes from crown the the, the, the Moors. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, um, you know, you got you got all that stuff going on, and mm -hmm. so you know, it's just one of those things. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, it's okay. So, I got <laughs> to go ahead. They was the richest, so right. therefore, um, so we were saying like, you know, uh, you know, they that 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 these these people that that started this trade was Spaniards. You know right, what I mean? Right. They right. they actually. So when I say they hit some, now they didn't found a new cargo. They done found a new thing to sell. Right. And when they came to America, I don't believe, and I'm going to have to do some more research, but they didn't necessarily have this thing figured out. But when they got here, it was some other people here already. You understand me? It was some other people here already, and they found the new world. Now, I don't know exactly how it transpired where they decided, okay, we're about to take these slaves over here and sell these people. You know what I mean? I'm not quite sure. I, I don't. I didn't. You I don't, don't think I did my history. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't okay. know exactly how that transpired, but I know that trade started happening. Okay. And when they would bring, you know, if you take anybody to a foreign land, you know, they were fooled. They were tricked. But when you get on the sea and it's y'all against these people with these guns, well, I mean, when you're shackled at the bottom. Okay, yeah, let's go to that. When you shackled, when you shackled up. Now, I've I've had the extreme privilege of being able to go to Sierra Leone. Okay, um, and I've been I've had the extreme privilege of being able to go to Ghana mm -hmm. and to uh, Nigeria. Right, and so of course those three areas is where um, most of us and yeah. our ancestors come from. Yeah, they literally have a cave in Ghana. Oh yeah, where they used to transport. You know the the, the Nigerian mm -hmm. too, and hell and hold them captive inside that cave yeah. until the ship came. Right, and then of course they would escort you from the cave into the ship, all down the Gold Coast. Right. Yeah. And so, I and then of course the same thing with Sierra Leone. So, mm -hmm. so when you when I hear people sometimes talk about how because there's a lot of Nigerians here mm -hmm. in Miami. Yeah. There's a lot of um, Africans. Period. But there's a, quite a few. Nigerians and Nigerians is popping up everywhere. Yeah. Right? As far as Ghana and Cameroon mm -hmm. and so forth. So um I hear people talking about that. Mm -hmm. And I want to say so badly, like, dude, that might be your cousin. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you know, that might be your uncle or your auntie. That might be your cousin. Cause that's where we that's where the bulk, that's where right. the vast majority of, of our ancestors come from. Right. And if you hear the Haitians talk, yeah. Or you hear the Dominicans talk mm -hmm. because it's the same island, just to, it's just split in half. You know, the border's just split in half. Mm -hmm. You 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 hear that dialect and you see some of the customs and some of the practices that they kept. And 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 I just want to elaborate on it. They was able to keep that because guess what? They was never colonized. They've what? been um they've been African countries. They've been black countries. From the beginning all the way up to now. Well, you had the revolution. The, the, you know what I'm saying? So the ha Haitians actually fought back and won. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's why a lot of people say that Haiti's the poorest country. And it's not because they don't know how to have I don't know if you've ever been there. I've never been to Haiti, but I know quite a few people that's been to Haiti. And Haiti is literally a, a beautiful country. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, just like any other country has its hoods. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. but the houses, the, the 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 way the houses are built, the whole nine yards, it's a beautiful country. Now, the reason why they were um, quote unquote poor, you know what I'm saying, is because France 
because they took over, because they, you know, they they fought back and took over, France then taxed them, mm-hmm. right? And so because they were taxed, and the and the tax basically was because they were still property. Mm-hmm. They literally had to pay for their freedom, mm-hmm. and it just ended like a couple of years ago, like right. you know, like what about five, ten years mm-hmm. ago, something like that. But anyway, that's just you know, what I'm saying so now you they have their freedoms. They I just read somewhere there where they're supposed to get paid, you know, X, Y, Z billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. But now, as you see on the news, I've been you know I don't watch the TV, but I've mm-hmm. been watching the news recently. Mm-hmm. They're starting to see all of these different um, capsules floating up. You know, what I'm saying oh, coming, they get out of there. Yeah. And they're getting out of there. So you, you're talking together. you're talking hundreds of people all in, in, in one capsule. And them some rough waters. Right. But anyway, so long story short, yeah. About that. You right. know, um, we're we're just, you know, yeah, they owe us. Yeah. Think about think about all the things that we've literally had to endure. Yeah. Just to get to this point. And we gonna we gonna get it to that. I just wanna say real quick that uh we want to welcome y'all to the Status Podcast. You know, we are here again by the grace of God, and we're giving you some news you can use. So what I want y'all to do is go ahead and push that like button. Go ahead and push that share button. Go ahead and share some real educational stuff, some real knowledge, some real stuff that's going to go deep, because I don't see people sharing that on a regular basis. You know what I mean? So y'all come on. We're going live from Miami, Florida, beautiful Miami, Florida. And we're in an area that I just found out the other day that, this is one of the first black businesses in Brickle. Really? Somebody actually came and told me that he'd been here for 60 years. And he said, this is the first African-American business in Brickle. And I was like, no way. And he was like, yeah, you doing something legendary right here. We doing something legendary right here. So that's what's up. You know, that, that that's just another testament to, you know, how God works sometimes. So that's two cities. Two I cities don't, and I don't two know if we was, Yeah, I don't know if we was the, the first in, 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 in Charlotte, but we definitely did some. But some, the first in, in, in the epicenter. Definitely. Well, no, that was that was um brother um brother with the smoke shop, brother Preston Gray. He was the first person there. I came a month after him. Okay. So I gotta gotcha, give gotcha. that up to him. But yeah, we were the first there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep continue going on with this show. Now the the, the name of the show again today is America owes us millions. And a lot of people can't understand why we deserve reparations. I was talking to a Caucasian individual that I held close to me. But after we had this conversation, I kind of looked at her in a different type of way. You feel me? So when we was talking, everything was good. And then I was like, yeah, um, we were talking about some deep race stuff. But, you know, it was it, it was light, but we was going there. And I'm like, you know, um, we definitely need some reparations. She was like, whoa, what do you need reparations for? All you guys are going to do is just spend the money on BS or designer clothes and stuff like that. You don't need money. What you need is education. They should just give all of you guys some free education. And I looked at her like, whoa. And that really broke There's our some free education. That broke our relationship up because mm. I was like, well, how you, you know, you look at what's going on. She's like, it's going on because nobody wants to go to school or don't nobody want to get off their lazy ass. And, the, and I'm like, whoa, the, the white person that privilege I, that I always expected came out privilege. But I thought she was an abolitionist, but she wasn't. Listen, I, I mean, I, I, I have some I have some Caucasian people who I hold near and dear to yeah. my heart. Um, um, you know, these are conversations that I don't think I want to have with them because you're gonna know the truth, huh? right? And and they mean too much to me to you know what I'm saying to 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 squander that relationship. I feel you on that. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Certain things is I like you know certain avenues. I feel like you probably. It's almost like you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk money with your brother. Hey, they tell you, know? you when you're in a relationship with the with the female. When you're in a relationship with the female, they tell you don't don't ask if you don't want to know. Exactly, exactly. So if you don't want to know, don't even talk about. It. Don't even bring it up. Okay, I, I would ask you another question. No, 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 keep, no, no, go, go no, ahead. no. I'm gonna keep going because it, then it's gonna lead to something else, and we're gonna we're gonna stick on this topic. But anyway, um, so let's get back to how wh- right now what we doing? We're just trying to figure out how all this came about. Because I think it's important for us to understand, first of all, what happened, and then why do we deserve this money? Why why should we get this money? Well, but you know, just I, w- I just want to harp on something that you please said. please be my guest. Um, 
you know, based on okay, what you you guys just gonna just spend it on, you know, bullshit. Man. That's a distraction. This Miami, yeah. Florida, y'all. I'm telling you, <laughs> good lord, have mercy. Anyway, on some, on some, you just gonna spend it on some bullshit, right? Yeah, that's, that's what she said. That's what you. she said, straight now, up and down. What happened to, um, you know, I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, that's where I was born. Yeah, right. I didn't spend long there, but that's where I was born. Facts. Right. And of course, we already know what happened to Tulsa back in, you know, 19. Yeah. What, we what, might have to expound on that in, you know in a little bit because a but, lot of people don't know. But what I am going to talk about is every time we as a people stood our own ground and, and had our own communities mm-hmm. and had our own um, businesses mm-hmm. and had our own Black Wall Street and all this yeah. different type of stuff, right? Yeah. They came into it out. So you got Tulsa, because a lot of people don't know, and I have to, I have to share the info. You not only we did you to, have Tulsa, yeah. Of course, they made a movie about Rosewood, yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know that Lake Lanier, okay, in Atlanta, mm-hmm. in Georgia, mm-hmm. that lake mm-hmm. is literally covering a black community, okay. You know what I'm saying? That was a prominent black community, okay. And they just said, you know, of course, they destroyed, they flooded it, yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And right. so now. If you and I've been tubing, yeah, in in Lake Lanier through the you know hood. <laughs> You've been tubing through the hood, y'all. Come on, y'all. I didn't, this, I didn't went y'all both and tubing live. and all that kind of stuff, right? Y'all said this live. Not to mention, mm. you know, you know what I'm saying. And, and God rest his soul, but Usher's the singer. Okay, his son drowned wow. in Lake Lanier. That's deep. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, and then of course you got um, Central Park. Okay, in New York, black black owned. That was a black community. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? They 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 shuffled them up out of there, right? And made that park, right? So Central Park was literally a black community. Wow, you know what I'm saying? And so a lot of our prominent communities. Let me add a couple real quick: Charlotte, North Carolina, Brooklyn neighborhood, Uptown. You know where the epicenter was? Where mm-hmm. the, where I got the store at? You know, uh, uh, all up in Mar- the the littlest Martin Luther King Boulevard in the nation. You know, mm-hmm. about four blocks long. You know that was all black. Doctors, lawyers, scientists, all, all type of carpenters, uh, everything. They what they do, tear down, made a park. Right. Uh, we can go right here in Miami, Florida, Overtown. Oh, they they just destroyed um, Overtown. They put a they put an eight lane freeway. That's the lowest freeway I ever seen in my life. Like I almost feel like you got to bend down <laughs> just to walk under it, which is going right through the neighborhood mm-hmm. that used to be black owned. You know what I mean? They they put that right there through the neighborhood. Right. Over time, it was, you know, musicians, jazz players. It was speakers. I think even some of the, I think even Martin Luther King came through or something Ali like that. He had a house over there. You feel me? Yeah. And, 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 and you gonna tell me y'all gonna just put a freeway right through there? Same thing happens with Savannah, Georgia. You go to the hood in Savannah, Georgia. They put the big old freeway right through the hood. Right. And right. that's that's generally what they do. Whether they either gonna put a expressway in there to take the land. Yeah. Cause they did the same thing in Tulsa. Imminent, imminent domain. Not only did they burn it down, of course, but of now course. if you go back to Tulsa, there's a huge freeway running through. Right through the Greenwood. Prominent African American areas. Right, Greenwood. Yeah. Right? And so, or they flood it, right. or they take the land and make a park. A beautiful park. You know, which is, you know, it's a beautiful park, but it's a lot of bullshit that go down. In Even in park Pearl, too. in Charlotte, they have Pearl Park, which is up the street from uptown. Yeah. And they made it into a park. It was doctor. It was uh, it was so much, you know, cleaners and all, you know, what I mean, all type of things in there. Right. So when people say, you know, of course, the the the, um, the saying is pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Yeah. So anytime we pulled ourselves up by our own bootstraps, they took the damn boots. They took the boots. <laughs> left you with the straps. <laughs> they left you with the straps. <laughs> This ain't even a laughing matter. <laughs> they left you with the straps and they took the boots. We gonna get to why this even, how did this even come about? Because you know we 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 put on the we put on the show that you understand know me. Um, we put on the show that America owes us millions. And I know you sitting back thinking, man, y'all doing a lot of laughing and giggling, but how America owe y'all anything? Well, check this out. Let's get to some facts right now. And I know you got some too. It was a. It was to the tune of over um, five million slaves. You hear what I'm saying? It was to the tune of over five million slaves. It's a lot of cities that don't even have that many people in it. What? 
we talking about and, and and now now we talking about at this time in the 1800s most of the north was not even really populated yet so the bustling areas and the, the, the more prominent areas of the united states was in the south right you know all along the south mm-hmm. you know what i mean when you get to up north and you start talking about those areas that was more indians and people that was here even before let's say native americans let's say black people that made it here first (laughs) (laughs) let's say that because uh we don't we we don't want the red we don't want the uh the 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 fallback from the native americans well well, they got reparations but i'm gonna get into that in just a second but however the case might go check this out so in 1865 we had they had a war here right so -hmm. you got the civil war right so they had to recruit people, you know, because the slave owners wasn't giving up their slaves to fight in the war. And the slaves, I mean, the slave owners weren't about to go fight in the war. We're, right. not, we're not about to go fight in the war. And you're not about to take our slaves and go fight in the war because we need these slaves. Because you're costing to, us money. Yeah, we're trying to make this money. You right. know what I'm saying? Plus, we like these black women, you know, all type of stuff going on, you know what I mean? And they getting us, we good. We good mm-hmm. over here. So they allowed slaves to buy their freedom for one thousand dollars now could you imagine a thousand dollars in the 1800s man that's almost like a million dollars yeah yeah in silver and gold Mm -hmm. you had to save up that much money to free your family but brothers did it brothers did it all right so you free your family and now they say we need we recruiting black people if you want to come on and fight all right if you want to fight and if you free, we'll go ahead and when this is all said and done, not only we're gonna give you a little something for your family right now, but we're gonna give you forty acres of tillable land and a mule when all this is said and done. All right. So they put together this this proclamation, you could say, in 1865. This was General William Sherman. Okay. He promised this. Mm-hmm. And he made good on this promise. You know. At one point, it was 40,000 families situated on 400 square feet of tillable land between Georgia and South Carolina. Okay. Okay. And they had their own community that was doing their thing. You know, it was a lot of education going on. But this this, this just was here. This wasn't all, you know, still slaves that was in bondage, everything. And we're gonna get into what happened. I don't wanna I don't, I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna, you know, give all the all the juice away right now, but let's just stop right there for a minute. You talking about a government because at the time the president was President Lincoln. Okay. Okay. So he was supposedly aka low key black anyway. But you know, he actually I, I read something where um the initial plan was to put um, all the blacks on an island. Okay, cool. So that was the initial plan. Okay. Um, it wasn't to just free them. It was to take all the blacks and take all the slaves. And they call it Cow Island, but it's close. To, it's it's an island that's over near Haiti, mm-hmm. right? And colonize all of us on this island mm-hmm. um, called Kai, Kai, uh, Cow Island, right? Um, over there so that was the initial plan but of course you know they wasn't having that yeah and so but go ahead I just want to throw that little thing that's I'm glad you brought that up so they promised us you know at a meeting in Savannah Georgia um, Savannah Georgia is very important and Charleston we're gonna get into that and they still run the nation right now believe it or not those families from that time still had them houses down there and they still have meetings down there you wonder why Kanye West was running for president in the first place he go is Charleston, South Carolina. Mm. I'm gonna let that sit on y'all for a second. Anyway, um, so at that time you had black Republicans. You see what I'm saying? General Sherman was a Republican. Okay, so they were fighting for black people to help them get what was owed to them because they see what's happening to them. They see how it was going down. At this point, slavery is really in full swing. At this point, you had some free slaves that that was born into slavery and all type of things. So what do you do 
when you get promised this and you got all these people to the tune of forty thousand, but that was just who got the who who got the land. But you had million, you know, I don't want to say million, but hundreds of thousands of soldiers that signed up to fight this war and won. Mm-hmm. All right, to fight this war, um, they killed so many white people. Um, you know what I mean for these white people, and they got their land, and we're talking about four hundred thousand acres of land, of tillable land so i'm going to stop right there because i'm going to talk about what happened though how do you think that would have benefit us if we would have been able to keep that much land then well um you know how would it have benefited us it would have been it, i'm course, talking about we, black folks able to we would yeah. have we would have our own states and cities you know at that point but um, you was talking about Carolina, right? Mm-hmm. And yes, we also know that that's why um, your pre- your current president kind of really got elected is because of the um, I can't think of what his name is right now. Biden, me. not Biden. I know the president's name, Biden. I'm talking about what's the guy, the black guy, um, who actually endorsed him out of South Carolina. Uh, I'm not even sure. But he actually endorsed Biden, okay. And he's the actual the, the senator or the governor or somebody from um, okay. from from South Carolina. Yeah. And not to mention, because you were talking about how blacks were Republicans at that point, right? Blacks used to be Republicans. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Of course, right. the i the ideological the the ide, ideology of um, the Republican Party was was actually key. it was it didn't switch until just recently probably within you know like the 30s like the 20s or 30s mm-hmm. that's when the ideology ideology switched however i said all that to say right we got to go back to wilmington mm-hmm. and that fiasco that happened in wilmington okay because of course at that point that's when blacks was taking you know they was taking high positions in the government right you know congress mm-hmm. and se- you know senators and so forth yeah and then of course the newspaper incident happened in well in wilmington mm-hmm. and caused you know that and that's what wiped all the blacks out of congress and mm-hmm. so forth and that's what put all the whites back in there right but go ahead i, I know you was you was making no that, point. that's real what you're saying you know um i i just wanted to i i had really put on the i had really said you know the republican thing because the the the, the preachers you know was the was the main powerful people back then the preachers you mm-hmm. know they wouldn't help push this 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 law into action they got behind the general the general had the help from lincoln who thought it was a good idea so he actually passed the law saying that if you fought in the war and you was a free man then you get 40 acres and then after you get the 40 acres you're gonna get a mule to till it and grow whatever you want now we're talking about that slavery brother we're talking about that point with where if you was able to get if you was able to get 40 acres bro do you know how big that is that's a lot of doggone lakers but you know but again i don't think it was just concentrated on um in in, in that area that you discussed which is yes it South was Carolina up to um georgia yes you got to think about i think it was like uh oklahoma no and nebraska and stuff mm-hmm. like that as well so this this land was was dedicated to the coastline from savannah up to Charleston. So that's where you get the Geechees and stuff from. That's where you get the Geechees and everything. And that's where you get the Indians. Um, and I forget the name of the Indians, but there was... So this... Is, and, and I don't want to get too far off subject, <laughs> but this is where you get the saying of you got Indian in your blood because they had black Indians down there that was already free when we got here. And they, Blackfoot? Man, they never was brung into slavery. Okay. They never was taken into slavery. So if you would escape from a plantation in South Carolina somewhere, you can actually find link up with those Indians. You know, wherever you wherever the wherever the reservation is, if you can get there, you can link up in with those Indians and you'll be free. Mm. You'll be good. Of course you'll have to stay with them because you ain't got no papers, but you will be you will be legit with the Indians because they wasn't having it. You know what I mean? But okay. you know, uh, like I said, so and that's just one for y'all that you know y'all might want to really write that down somewhere. So this was promised to us, but guess what? They turn around 
and when um, Lincoln was assassinated right um, and I don't know if he was assassinated at this point but when the new president Andrew Jackson in 1865 was what came into office he's a democrat that's when everything changed Andrew Jackson was a democrat right so now he rallied with the slave owners to go ahead and take the land back and give it back to the slave. Oh, I missed a, a, a point. So the Republicans took land from slave owners that already had the land. So they did an eminent domain thing. Mm-hmm. We're going to take all this land. Y'all got to find somewhere to split to. And we're going to get this to these slaves. Okay. That fought in the war. They wasn't really feeling that. So they waited till Andrew Jackson got an office. They got around the tables, the Democrats, and they said, we're going to take this land back. Not to mention he had slaves. Uh, of course. Okay. So they took the land back and gave it back to the slave owners. So you sitting on your 40 acres, you doing good, you tilling, you you messing around and, and getting you some cotton going, you're going to be a rich man. Mm-hmm. Your family's going to be good. Agriculture. Y'all Big shout it. out to the to, shout out to the African American uh, farmer too, by the way. Facts. Go ahead. I'm sorry. y'all about to be good, and then they turn around and take that that whole little thing away and take the land back. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine how that feel? And you, we can't even imagine how many brothers and sisters got smoked and killed over trying to stand up over their land. Y'all not about to take my land back? <sighs> yes, we is. You out of do. This is ours now. Huh? Mm. Took it back. So, um, with that being said, I, I I just got a few questions for you. Okay, you, you're giving me a lesson right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, we're 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 so Carolina, Georgia, um, they're connected, and then you got North Carolina. So most of your prisons is in those three. Uh, states. Well, not now. Most of your prisons are located in Wisconsin, Illinois, Ohio, um, uh, the Rust, the Rust Belt. There is still a lot of them in Cal- um, North Carolina and South Carolina, but the northern states is where most of the prisons are now. Okay, gotcha. All right, but go ahead, carry on. Yeah. So, um, and once again, y'all watching the, the Status Podcast, you know, um, we, we give y'all some real deep news tonight, so you may not be rolling around, holding your stomach, giggling. You might want to open your ears and open your mind and pay attention because we giving you some news you can use. Back in the day, they used to do this type of stuff on the great, I mean, on Amtrak. They used to take the Amtrak from Miami to Chicago, and every stop that they stopped, they had meetings where they let you know what the fashion is, the new news with the with the racism. We talking about in 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 in, in nineteen fifty and nineteen forty. We talking about people coming off the train with perms down south. You're like what's with that? that in your head? You know what's that? What's that? that oh, let me hit you to the news, baby. Let me pull your cocktail. You know, put you on the news. You know. Mm. Um, and this is how they share news. I mean, early, early. I'm talking about in the, in the nineteen hundreds. So I'm going to get back to what happened, but that's the gist of it. I'm going to get back to that. But I want to address one thing. And we were talking about this the other day. I want you all to understand that slavery was not that long ago. No, your your great grandmother or your great great grandmother was probably on a plantation or just removed from a plantation. Slavery went that far ago. So when somebody say, well, that's not our problem. Your granddad, granddad had a slave. We got a caller right now. We're going to let this brother get on. Let's give us one second here. We're going to get on. Hey, hey, what's going on, brother? Welcome to the podcast. Talk to us tonight. Oh, we got to get that brother back on. I don't know what happened. Go ahead, Mr. Flowers, while I'm getting this brother back on. But yeah, I'm just I'm just sitting here uh, uh, puzzled and, and pondering because I'm sitting here like, um, yeah, they owe us quite a bit. Um, you start talking about the slavery stuff, and then of course, you know about the, the the Civil War, and then I'm sitting here thinking about the movie Glory. 
Yeah, you know, and there's that with Denzel and Morgan Freeman. But go ahead. Hey, how's hey, going, brother, what's, how, how's it going, brother Jay what's, and brother Flowers? What's how going on, brother Carlos? We got you on the show, baby. Go ahead and give us some science, man. What's going on, man? I just want to congratulate you guys on what you guys doing with the platform. And, you know, you're talking about reparations tonight. You know, I wanted to just go ahead and, you know, um, give my take on reparations. Um, if you guys will allow me to. Do your please, thing, brother, please. please. All right, man. With so many failed attempts with the original colonies, um, the dominant society needed our help. Mm. Um, through And through the blood, sweat, tears, and years of our ancestors building this nation, you know, we deserve reparations. Mm. We, re we deserve reparations. Um, you can't put a dollar amount on on what our ancestors endured. Mm -hmm. But I can honestly tell you that it should be more than what the Native Americans are receiving. Mm. And with you you spoke on earlier when you was talking to uh, one of your friends, you know, and that's what the dominant the dominant society does. A use they use shaming tactics mm. to to detour the momentum of getting on reparations. Mm -hmm. They use shaming tactics like pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Mm -hmm. And we know, like Brother Flowers were saying, when they when we when they say pull yourself up by your bootstraps, we have prosperous communities that we built and they hinder and sabotage businesses mm -hmm. and they tell us they tell us basically you're not working hard and we know that they benefit the most off, off of benefits like the homestead the homestead act mm. and white flight mm. and also um Welfare. Welfare was created in 1930 to benefit white women mm. because they because their their husband was had dangerous jobs in the coal mine and things like that. So um, we have to be careful, you know. Um, like Brother Flowers said, who we talk to um, because they use shaming tactics. What you gonna spend the money on? You know, they ne and when and they never questioned, they never questioned what the Native Americans spend their money on. They get, you know, they spend their money, they get drunk, they get high, um, get probably get their check on Friday and don't even have lunch money on Monday. Mm. So with that being said, we when we get reparations, we have to have a code of conduct. Hmm. Absolutely. We have to stop throwing each other under the bus. We have to start respecting each other. You know, and we also have to have an agenda hmm. once we get the reparation. We have to have an agenda. You know, um, everyone that's everyone that's black can't receive these benefits. You know, <laughs> you know, our Caribbean brothers, our you know, African brothers, they're not included in this package. You have to be lineage based mm -hmm. going to the 1870, 1870 census. And, you know, if most black people can find, you know, who they're, you know, going back to trace their, you know, go back to the 18 census, census to, you know, find their lineage, you know, that'll be no problem. Mm -hmm. And also we have to practice grouping economics mm -hmm. you know we we have to practice group economics mm -hmm. and the last thing the most important thing that we have to do and we have to we have to list ourselves as a protected class wow you know because it's nothing that we can do you know it's it's it's, it's didn't do that you know because why accumulate the wealth and get the benefits and we're not protected. Mm -hmm. And and it's a harsh reality that we might not receive the benefits. So um, we have to 
start figuring out ways as a collective group to get things popping. You know, um, we have to get everybody involved. We have to get everybody involved. And once we get everybody involved and we're on one accord and all the cylinders are clicking, you know, then we become a high value race. Mm. That's science right there, brother. You dropping science. Do you want to tell them anything else? Um, I think that that's it for right now. Um, that's my take, you know, on reparations. I gave us, you know, a lot of information when we get what we should do, the agenda, the code of conduct. Um, I told us about the shaming tactics that the dominant society uses you know um i talked about the original the failure of the original colonies you know and they needed our help Mm -hmm. and you know um this country wouldn't be the modern america what which it is right now without the the labor Mm -hmm. you know and a lot of the times you know and it's still being de- everybody's benefiting from the labor, you know, the the free labor, except for us. Mm. And that's why we need reparations. Everybody's benefiting and getting secondary gains from from the free labor. Mm. We need to we need to get our check, you know. And just like the bro- like like Dr. Martin Luther King said. You know, he led his people into a burning house (laughs) and integration was the worst thing for us, basically. Mm. And just like the brother, Dr. John Henry Clark said, we have no allies, we have no friends. Mm. Mm. All right, brother Jay. And (laughs) we we appreciate what you got. Look, we over here stuck. The the show over, man. It's it's been a good night. (laughs) (laughs) Brother, you drop I, pre- I appreciate you guys, you know, and you know, opening up your platform to someone like me, you know, to be able to talk about reparations. You know, you guys are unbelievable. I like what you guys are doing. You know, I prep just like you guys prep for the shows after you know the show before y'all even got home. I was, you know, doing my research and preparing for today. Well, get ready for next week. You want to tell them where they can find you? What you what you're doing? Moving, you know, that's what I specialize in. Um, the moving consultant. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Carlos Smith 355. And if you need moving services, you can reach out through those platforms. All right, my brother, you gave us a lot to think about. We're going to get back on it. We appreciate you and we, we can't wait until next week. All right, thanks a lot. Y'all have a good night. All right, brother Carlos. Hey, he's not just moving furniture. He's moving minds over there. He's moving minds. That brother's coming with. Go ahead. I'm going to let you. No, the show over with, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos. That man drop the mic. With. Yeah, drop the mic. But nah, but he um he he he, he come with it every week. I, mm-hmm. like, I, I like when brother Carlos calls in. Um, He always uh, uh, uh segue into some facts that I have. Yeah. Already. Okay. So he said that you can't put a value on what our ancestors actually already did, right? Mm-hmm. And so, which is true, you can't, right? You you, you can't put a price on it. Mm-hmm. But the government has tried, right? Right. And so they're saying um, ten to twelve trillion dollars in reparation. Yeah, we need that. And each in the, each individual black person would get, I think, if if not, you know, mistaken, the quote was uh, three hundred and eighty hundred thousand. Yeah, per per black person. Okay, um, here in the United States, we need that. And then, of course, um, I don't hope I'm not jumping the gun, but you know, what I'm saying you do have uh, a couple. Um, you have uh, the south side of Chicago, uh, the, the, uh, south of Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I asked you about because I know you're from up mm-hmm. in that area. Um, they, they've already started um, the reparations. I don't know. I know Asheville, North Carolina, have. Start giving out a couple of dollars here and there, but um, 
but Illinois, it's, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a city in Illinois. And I asked you earlier, and mm-hmm. I can't remember the name it, of the city. It, 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 I ain't it, heard it, nobody it, call it, my it, line talking about they got it. It, it eludes me. Hey, but, nobody went on Instagram. But, you know, somebody's really getting some money. But, but, somebody but, went on. but as of January, they um, have already started okay. um, doing reparations. California has actually put together a task force team to study right um reparations and how uh, how much and all that good stuff mm. out in california um and then of course there's a group called um i call them narc n-double-a mm. um rc mm. um they actually are doing um a a uh, a study okay um, and it's it's you know it's it's fully you know commissioned and all mm-hmm. this other stuff. They're actually doing a study at this point, as far as reparations here in America as a whole. Right. And so they've already put together a museum because mm-hmm. I've always wondered why, you know, you have a Holocaust museum mm-hmm. and you have all these different you know you got a Haitian museum, you got a Holocaust museum, you got right. all these different museums, but there's no slavery. Okay. Museum. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's no, you know, there's no African American slavery museum. I know they just did something to the, they, they did a piece of art or some something like that in mm-hmm. Alabama. Right. Um, but it's not to the extent of what they're trying to do with the with the narc in in double A. Okay. Um, RC is doing. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to throw those little pieces yeah. of, pieces of statue at you. Yeah, yeah. No, that that's facts. I just want to say real quick that uh you know we 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 must understand something. Slavery was not that long ago. Once I want to touch back on that real quick because a lot of people say, well that's oh that happened years ago. Y'all can go to school now. Y'all can get y'all. Let me let y'all understand how this impacted our communities, right? So my grandmother, okay, my grandmother, all right, my grandmother escaped from. Arkansas because she was forced to work in the fields and she was picking corn and picking cotton and okra and all these old different type of things and she was making I think she, she told me she was making like a, a, a dollar a week or something like that something crazy right and she would give that to her parents to help out you know what I mean on mm-hmm. coal because at that time they ain't had no you know what I mean no heaters and that so right. coal and gasoline and all these different things right so she vividly I remember her telling me that she got some dresses um she 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 got her some stockings right and she pretty much ran away and jumped on the back of a bus and made it to i wanted i don't want to say i think she said she 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 jumped on the back of a truck and she made it to like tennessee or something like that mm-hmm. and then she had a couple of dollars and then she took a bus to the to the midwest and then she started from nothing you know what i mean she joined um eastern stars which okay. was an underground, you know what I mean, Masonic type mm-hmm. order for the women. Right. And then they kind of helped her get on her feet. And she became a nurse. And she was the first black nurse in a pe- pediatric unit. Okay. You know what I mean? So I say that to say, you know, so definitely her mother, my grandma's mother was a slave. You know, was enslaved. We talking about, you know, my grandma, I think she was born in 1920 something. So we're talking about her mother was in the 1800s. She might have been, she might have been born in slavery, but she probably wasn't a slave by the time she got. Which, I mean, I know your great. So your grandmother's grandmother was for sure. For sure. Yeah. But my grandmother's mother was while she was young. I'm pretty sure she was doing some slavery work. Right. Right. You know what I mean? She, yeah. She, she was tilling. She was tilling some fields. You know what I mean? She and, probably and, had just got her freedom, or maybe she was born into freedom. You feel what I'm saying? But right. she was she was there. And my grandmother's grandmother was most definitely a slave. You know what I mean? So th- let's look at that. That's not that far away. Right. So if you look at the average white person, their grand grandfather's grandfather or their grandmother's grandmother, well, let's say grandfather's grandfather was a slave owner. They had slaves if they wasn't an immigrant. I feel you. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if they didn't come, if they didn't land in New York and start in New York on some, if they came well, from they the had south, slaves in New York too. 
but it wasn't known for because New York didn't really get the bustling. New until, York City was. Yeah, it didn't but really. North get, New York. I'm sure it did. It had some, but that wasn't really countryside. New York. That was it. Was slaves all up until that's why you think you know of course like Andrew Jackson and all yeah. those guys they they stayed in you know in but these New York. upscale slaves. These ain't down south slaves. These ain't get in the backyard and whip you. Slave is a slave. These like some. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This is different they type of slavery, man. Just, just slave is a slave. This but, you, you know, working, but, but you might not have been picking no cotton. And no, you all ain't that picking no stuff. cotton. You building a building or something, or you, you know what I'm saying, laying down some a railroad. Slave is, a slave is a slave. Slave is a slave, but it's a different type of slaves, though. You got the ones that was in Alabama and South Carolina that was getting beaten. I'd rather be in Alabama. I'd rather be. Well, I guess I guess I hear what you're saying. And then you if had, I were, if I was a slave, I would much rather be. In one of the colder areas, you gonna be in the north. Right. You gonna get with Harriet Tubman and them. You gonna get on the again, underground I don't railroad. I want to be outside doing what I got to do in in in, in freezing frit. In, but in you got you got access to education. You can make you know it was some coal inventors and some you know we can go out on the list of real well, coal. I, I, and, and I'm glad you I'm glad you made that comment because you just brought back the thought because it was something I wanted to say earlier. Yeah. So. Again, back to one of the reasons why they owe us is because right. a lot of the inventions Ooh -wee. were ours. Like the slaves what? literally made the stuff and, and had to pay, you know what I'm saying? But, but we were but they were property. So they couldn't put their name huh? on it on, on stuff. How about for, And they couldn't get the patent. How about for instance, you know, you from you from you from that you from around in that area, but you know, um, you know, I used to live in Fort Myers. Right, okay. so I used to be, you know, I used to take my time and 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 hang out on the um, on the Thomas Edison um plantation, basically. Okay, you know, uh, um, where he did a lot of his inventions. Mm -hmm. One of his best inventors that still don't get a lot of credit was a black dude. Well, most of your slaves were uh, you again. Know what I'm again, most of the things that 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 we as Americans yeah. um give credit to the white people for. It was the slave, but it was the slave who created it. But right. it was the slave owner who had who, who knew how to read and write. Yeah, who 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 had the the leverage to get the patent for, it. and right. so he got the credit for it because he got the patent. Although the although the invention belonged, you know, what I'm saying the, exactly the, belonged to the slave. So just let's think. I mean, you got you got you got a black man that 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 found out how to make it easier to sort the cotton out. Cotton gin, correct. Yeah, you know what I mean. He thinking, he like, man, this we working too hard. Let me, th mm, mm, bop, 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 you know. Hey, oh I, my God, I don't blame him because hey, I, God, I, I, I say on a consistent daily basis, work smarter, not harder. Let's whip this nigga. <laughs> He's too smart. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, you know, he get no. Credit. I am not a manual labor kind hey, of dude. You know, but you know, just think if we kept that four hundred thousand acres. And was able to that was able to 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 matriculate and and rotate throughout our communities. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I just I just look at it from a perspective of these different communities that I was talking about. So had we were able to keep these communities, right? Not to you know, what I'm saying not let's just take let's take Tulsa, which was the Black Wall Street. Yeah. Let's take that out of the equation. Right, because we already know what Tulsa was, right, or what it meant, mm -hmm. right. And so let's take uh, uh, the, the 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 city or the community in Wilmington, North Carolina. Let's take uh, the community that was in New York, where mm -hmm. um, Central Park is. Let's take even where Lake Lanier is. Mm -hmm. You know, let's take these communities. And I, first of all, I don't know if you've ever been to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of listeners. I don't know if you've ever been to Atlanta and have literally been to Lake Lanier. Mm -hmm. That's a huge fucking lake. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just imagine it's a whole doggone city mm -hmm. underneath that lake. Mm -hmm. So just imagine how huge this community was. How it's actually it's literally a city. Right. So you got a whole city mm -hmm. underneath this water. Right. Imagine if we kept that to ourselves mm -hmm. and. But especially looking at how Atlanta is now, mm -hmm. so you're talking another whole another community outside of Atlanta. You know, Tyler Perry could have a whole, you know, could have had a had a studio long before he got the studio he had now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The music, you know, uh, 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 music went from Detroit to Atlanta, right? And so imagine 
how big of a, 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 a music hub right. Atlanta could be right. had lately had that city not been flooded. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so I just think about all that kind of stuff, right? Right. And so, yeah, you know, going back to what we said beginning, you know, what I'm saying earlier, every time we do something yeah. for ourselves, yeah, you know, they. I think it's. I think it's to a point to where they want us to need them. That's what it's always been from the beginning. They want us to need them. They brought us here knowing that we would need them. So, and anytime we got some type of independence, or anytime we showed them, okay, well, you know, yeah, we help you build whatever the case is, so we can build our own over here too, and we can make it more fast, we can make it more innovative, we can make it do, you know, whatever the case is. They're like, well, screw that shit. Tear that shit. <laughs> Tear it down. Cut it out. Knock it off. You know what I'm saying? Or are we taking it? They be in there joking like to lock y'all up. Remember that video with Snoop and the yeah. dog pound when they was knocking over buildings yeah. and stuff? That's how it, that's that's exactly how it is. And I just want to let the viewers know we're not trying to be racist. This is not a racist rant. We're just telling the truth on one, why our why our community is so poor. A lot of us is living in poverty. If you ain't making over a certain amount of money a year. Let me tell you something. A lot of y'all not even making over eighteen thousand per year. Well, the medium um, is forty six thousand dollars a year, but the poverty level is eighteen thousand per year. Right. So a lot of people not even making eighteen thousand. I ain't even make eighteen thousand last year. Really? Hey, I got a good accounting. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway. What we, what we, you know, what we're trying to get to is we're trying to get, help you understand why this is old. Because a lot of people be like, "What? Why they owe us anything? They owe us this money." Let's look at the Indians. Man, the Indians they let them get casinos. They gave them land. They gave the casinos land. They gave the Indians land to build casinos. Okay, tax free, tax free. They gave, and I don't know how you can give somebody their own stuff, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> They, they <laughs> that's another story. They gave them the land, right? They gave them money. And these folks get checks like crazy checks. I'm talking, man, I, the one lady told me she gets $7,000. I think it's like every six months for each kid. She got like seven kids. Well, I, well, yeah, I probably need to go get my bloodline checked too. So probably do. So, so, you so. look like you got some Indian in yeah, you. on both sides. Out there from Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> I got some Indian in my family. But, uh, but, but, but back to what you were saying in reference to, um, giving them the land back. Yeah, they got the land back. And yeah, they can build casinos and stuff on the land. However, if you, you know, you've been here for, you know, some months. Um, and so the Seminole Hard Rock Cafe that we got out here, uh, even though that's Indian land, you know, them folks still trying to regulate what they can do on their own land. Yeah. And, and then I, that, that, I'm glad you said that because then I found out that this is how slick the United States is and some of these Caucasian people. So what they did is, especially in the West, and I'm speaking of Four Corners, Nevada, Utah, Oklahoma, I think, Nevada, Utah, North New Mexico, and Colorado. Right? Okay. So this is where they did a lot of the testing for the nuclear bombs. Right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so when we talking, we ain't talking about, we talking in the 1930s, 1940s. Even Shima was in the early, you know like the 20s, 30s. This is when around. they, you know, this is early. This, this, these folks create nuclear bombs early, testing them out. And in the West, it was a lot of Indians, mm -hmm. right? So what they did is, um, when they buried the nuclear waste, they would give that land to the Indians. I mean, give that land to the natives. Mm -hmm. So y'all can have this for y'all reservations. You know, so a lot of land that the natives are sitting on is it's, contaminated. It's contaminated, right. You feel me? But, you know, we probably would have took some contaminated land too. Well, I hate to say that like that. You know, but a lot of the land that we do have, a lot of a lot of a lot of where we live is old landfills. But it ain't ours. You know, well, if you're buying a house, whether whether right. you're paying a mortgage on it or not, right? A yeah. lot of the, a lot of the a, a lot of land that is in the rural urban communities is old landfills. Right. It's right. Old garbage landfill. Yeah, golf courses, all type of stuff. Yeah, right. sure. So, so all of that land is contaminated too. That's facts. So the question we'll go to ask is, 
Well, why did, why why do the government owe y'all millions? No, I don't think we still didn't answer that question. Why they owe us millions? Well, let's, Twelve trillion. Let's look at it. So if we take, let's go back to the beginning. If we take just i'm just talking about the 40 acres the 400 thousand acres let's look at the cost of how that would have matriculated into this time be it if we still had that because you could have bought some more land off of that you could have you know your revenue was about to go up you know they only had the land for a little bit of time right and then of course you know value of land goes up uh, it appreciates you feel me depreciates right okay. but we talk about land that's tillable on the coast mm -hmm. that you could have made some good cotton out of you know we talking about you know a, a, a refugee places for slaves we talking about too much different stuff that would have put us in power you know now you're talking about doing trade with the north for cotton and then you spread that wealth among the black community of that time and guess what now you got an ecosystem and we actually ran that 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 part too it was governed and everything by black people mm -hmm. you exactly. see what i'm saying so um we must understand how how much of an economic disadvantage we have from the beginning, right? Right. So then, you know, as time go on, we start to develop sense. We start to get educated and things like that. And all the odds were stacked against us. Now we're getting into the civil rights era. Now we're getting to the part to where you're trying to get an education, where the families were together, you know, where you're trying to you know get some good jobs and that's where your oklahomas come that's where your north carolinas come that's where your new york and stuff come that's where these different places come where folks is getting they act together they don't want to be in slavery get your education get on your you understand me get it together what you want them to get their master's degree you dig you know so they can take their own mind out and put the master's mind inside but we're not gonna go there we can't we can't we're not gonna we go can't do that <laughs> we can't do that we can't do that we, you know so you know I, I i i i'm gonna go somewhere else with this here i'm gonna go somewhere else because y'all need to know what's really going on right now so now you know we're gonna fast forward a little bit because they already you know they built america off of slavery period point blank what white for one doing they was telling you what to do they wasn't hammering no railroads they wasn't doing none of that that was black people that did that we laid the streets i was talking to a brother here that's been in miami for over 60 years that brother is 84 years old that brother came to me yesterday he dropped some science on me he was like there was actually a law where if you was on the streets and we talking we talking 1950s where you was on the streets you had to have one dollar in your pocket if you didn't have one dollar in your pocket you could be arrested as a black man and here in miami here in miami when you was arrested as a black man they utilized you for a week because you had to stay in jail for a week and while you was in jail they would bring you out and have you build the roads and have you chop down trees downtown miami and that's who created the downtown miami was black people wasn't no cubans here it wasn't no you know they probably was here but it wasn't no big cuban population it wasn't no big puerto rican population it was black folks and white folks well um miami was pretty much yeah i don't know if it, there it, it, it used to be i don't know if it's still there it was a special on netflix about um the origin of miami yeah and the, the uh the bahamians yeah and the jamaicans and the and the, they brought blacks in right to build my to build miami black folks built downtown miami well just miami period yeah so um and it's called overtown right um because um it was the north mm -hmm. side of town mm -hmm. and that was the only side of town that blacks was allowed mm -hmm. at that time to live in mm -hmm. um and so yeah so that's why it's called overtown right so you if you didn't have that dollar in your pocket you had to work on these streets you know what i mean so why do you say that i'm saying that because you have to understand the strategies that's been put forth and made you know that was free labor that's what he was saying like they utilized free labor to build miami that was a strategy right it wasn't no jobs like that not down here well miami is fairly new city right it's one of the newer metropolis cities in america you know and so um you know you got to think about when 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 the honeymooners you know uh, uh jackie gleason mm -hmm. 
and you know they had the the, the you see the movies the kitty cat club and the the, all of you know when when Motown was coming down, mm-hmm. all that and it was predominantly white. That's what all of that stuff was in the four was in the forties and fifties. Right. Miami was a was a brand new, fairly brand new city at that time. Mm-hmm. It was it was it was like still being built. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When Ali and for, uh who was that? Uh, uh, Ali came down here and beat Sonny Liston. Mm-hmm. You know, in the, in the, in the what what was that? The seventies, sixties mm-hmm. and seventies. And so when Ali came down here and beat Sonny Liston, you got to think it was a brand new city. So all of that was bringing was bringing money to Miami. Right. It was bringing um, notoriety mm-hmm. to Miami. Right. And that's what that. So Ali and and, and Liston and Jackie Gleason and um, um, Sinatra. Yeah. And all those guys. Yeah. They literally built Miami. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you gotta think Miami Beach, you a black person couldn't even at that point, a black person couldn't even go on Miami Beach. Couldn't even go on it. That's crazy. Y'all need to hear what we're saying. This is the truth. Call in if you feel some type of way. So, you know, but I, I'm you know, I'm I'm kind of uh you know, I'm I grew up in the South. Okay. Um, Pensacola, Florida to be exact. Facts. And so my mother's side of the family, my grandmother then was raised in Birmingham, Alabama. Mm-hmm. And so my grandmother, who's 80 plus years old, mm-hmm. you gotta think, she grew up in the the the, the white only water fountains. Yeah. You know, and all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. she's fair skinned. Mm-hmm. So not only did she catch it from the white folks, mm-hmm. but she caught it from the darker skinned black right. folks too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so I'm I'm you know, even even the uh, the the bus boycott in Montgomery. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff was taking place when she was just, you know, a teenager, you know, um, you know, in her early in her early adulthood. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm 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 more um infatuated, sort of say, about that era. Right. Because of that, you know what I'm saying, because I know somebody who was in that era. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I grew up like I said. I was I literally was born in Tulsa. And don't ask me how the hell my mom and my daddy right <laughs> ended up in Tulsa, mm-hmm. but they did. And and I literally grew up in I, I was raised right there in Greenwood. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, but anyway, that's going down a whole nother road. But right. I just you know what I'm saying I'm just infatuated with that with that um, with the pre um, what's it called era right. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the pre um you know, that uh, uh civil rights. Well, the pre civil rights and the and the, wait, I'm trying. I, I I'm having a brain fart right now. Well, Please excuse me. You think but, of- but you know when they were uh, 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 integration. Okay. The pre-integration All right. Era. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Oh, I you got it out. But okay, <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere else with this. I want to let y'all know how they because. America was built off slave labor and they're going to continue the new futuristic slave labor. What they have planned, guess what? They're going to build it off the backs of y'all. If y'all don't get y'all mind right. And I'm going to tell you what, right now, 2020, they had a plan set up. They knew that they need to start. They need to regenerate. They need to catch up with China. They need to catch up with Russia. They need to catch up with all these emerging economies. How can you do that, Mr. Flowers? Well, um, let me tell you real quick. Okay. So what you got to do is you got to you got to go back to the plan and they go back down to South Carolina and they go back down to Savannah, Georgia, and they sit in them old houses and they think about this type of stuff right here. Well, how can we get this nation going in the right direction? Because we outsourcing all our talent, all our technology, everything out there to cheaper labor in China mm-hmm. where they getting, you know, three dollars an hour or something crazy like that. But we need to bring that back to America. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, one thing, we have to get those niggers locked up. We have to get those black folks locked back up. And when they get locked up, guess what? They working for 50 cents an hour. But now it's on a high tech level because you got brothers in prisons that's putting together Apple phones, computers. They doing microchip work and everything. So I want you to pay close attention to what I'm just going to say. So they went ahead and they and they put together the stimulus and the, and the PPP. Mm-hmm. Now you know that these folks was gone. When you say it's a self authenticating 
application that means it's free money because basically all you're saying is sign up and tell us what you do and how much you make and we're gonna send y'all that money right and they did that they mm -hmm. sent that money out people folk were lying folk got banks and, and giving other folks money all type of crazy stuff right they put that money out there because they got a plan they like we gonna make us some new slaves right Donald Trump told us that before Biden got in there. He was like, man, they're going to make y'all slaves again. He said that. He said that. And at first, I was like, man, this dude is crazy. But then I think about it more and more. I'll be like, oh, he well, he know because he behind the scenes. He know. So check this out. So now everybody got that money. Everybody scammed and they think they good, right? They think they good. They letting all these Mexicans in with no papers. They sending them to all these different states. They ain't got no paperwork. They ain't got nothing. Remember now, keep in mind that the the, the Democrats they took the they took the land back from the they first of all they passed the the Slavery Act, reenacted the Slavery Act in eighteen something, and they also took all that land away from them black folks and gave it back to the slave owners. Now, where are you going with this, James Mack? Yeah, where are you going with this? Right what they gonna do now so he just passed two bills he passed a microchip bill to bring more technology and to try to um give all this money to emerging companies that that is creating microchips to try to solve that problem and he also passed that um that ppp investigation bill where now they have three they extended the um the statute of limitations up to 10 years so now they got 10 years to come and get y'all behind. So if you took that money, you think it's over, but it ain't over. And they, they, some people getting slapped on the hand. You know what color they is. Ooh, you did, you got 3 million, you getting a year. Get out of here. I know somebody that got like 5,000 and they got three years. Mm. Three years. And guess what they finna go do? They finna go to school and get a trade. They finna be in there welding something for somebody they finna be in there uh 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 cutting down trees making wood they finna be in there doing all type of crazy stuff and they gonna be happy to do it because they get out they get to smell some fresh air they, all this year but guess what they're getting paid a dollar an hour and you think oh i'm, I'm in here i'm in here making micro trips right now that's sweet right mm -hmm. you doing something with your life you a slave and you got tricked into being a slave Again. Again. Right? So it's happening right before our eyes, people. You better wake up. They got the slavery bill set. They already know what they're going to do. They're getting ready to pass the Build Back Better plan. They already know how they're going to set their people up while they telling you that it's about to be a recession. They telling their kids to invest in Bitcoin, all this here. Get back in position. Get in position, you guys. All right? We need to get in position. We need to invest right now. The stock market is low and put your money in there. But for y'all, y'all going to jail. Y'all going to be on the chain gang. Y'all going to be making the roads and the bridges and, and all this here coming up because they passed the infrastructure plan as well. Right. Who you think gonna do all that work? You think they're gonna be paying top dollar for y'all to do that work? Why you think they busting in the Mexicans? Shipping them, dropping them in, in Chicago, dropping them in DC, dropping them in uh, Miami, dropping them in Wisconsin. Why you think they doing that? And they ain't sending them Haitians back that's coming in here either. They sending them to camps. They gonna be slaves. The Mexicans getting stipends. They getting houses. They getting everything. Who is that affecting? It's affecting you and your community. Because when you go to the when if you go to the emergency room, it's full of Mexican people. When you go to the free clinic, it's full of Mexican people. Well, I ain't been to no free clinic in a long time. I went to the free clinic. <laughs> I seen it. I'm a business owner, so I gotta find other ways to get my my my, you know what I'm saying? my, my blood work. So I went there, I see it. I go to the VA. So you know what I'm saying? When you go to the SSI building, there's Mexican people in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you go, you got to understand what's happening. They're changing the dynamic slowly. So it's a reason why they're busting these people in. Because these are the people they're going to hire to make the new bridges, make all this new stuff for the flying cars, make all this new stuff for the new electric trains in all these different cities, make all this stuff for the wireless networks. These are who going to be building this. While y'all in prison making micro, micro trips, while y'all in prison making all type of electronics? So it's really, I, I saw this, and I think I said this to you a little while ago, but it's not the Great Recession that we had back in the 30s and 40s. It's the Great Reset. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. And so 
that's uh that's really taking place and so is and, and of course is yes it's everything that you said is taking place um from the slavery standpoint and i remember uh when i was getting out the military um and then of course some years later they started closing down all these different bases and i was i you know i started asking quick i'm very inquisitive so i started asking questions about what are they going to do with all these barracks that's on all these uh base and what are they going to do with all of these um underground um bomb barriers and stuff that they have on all these bases and so hindsight 2020 these are the camps that they're going to start putting people in oh facts it, you know? it's not a game because if you remember prior to 2019 we're talking about 2016 it was a lot of chatter about why are they got all these all these uh uh, FEMA uh, trains and why do they have all these um, uh, uh, um, caskets stacked up these little plastic caskets stacked up why is all this stuff stacked up guess what they already knew well it, it, and I, what I started to say before but I'll let you carry on because of your, you know, I, what you had to say was extremely important um, this whole COVID stuff and the, the great reset was initially from what I've heard and from what I've read, the, this was supposed to take place earlier, but remember H1N1? Sure. So H1N1 was supposed to do what COVID eventually did, mm -hmm. but we had a person in there that was a lot more wiser than, you know, the previous guy. No. Yeah. Um, and so he kind of him him and Biden together as well as I think I can't remember what her name is, but they actually put together a plan to in to, to get rid of H one N one. Right? But the Great Reset was supposed to take place in the earlier um two thousand, like two thousand twelve, two thousand what was that, two thousand fourteen, I think, when H one N one started coming around. So that's when everything started was supposed to really take place. Right. But um, you know, whether I don't know what your, you know, I don't care, you know, what your, what your, what your, um, um, Republican or Democrat or whatever the case is. All I'm saying is that's that's from what I've heard and from what I've studied. That's what it was supposed to take place way back then. Well, I'm, a, you know, and you're right, and, and, and we have to pay attention to these small things. And when it when it comes to the Republican and the Democrat, you know, the Republican, I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not gonna say where I stand with it. But one thing I want to let you know is that don't be fooled because the person that's that's running the country right now was against you in the first place. People, you better look back into the history, right? Who who came up with the crime bill? Who helped your, your daddy and your granddaddy go to jail? Biden. Huh? Who, who set up the, all these little laws and all these little things? That man been in office for the longest. The crack bill. They had him on the Instagram talking about if you get caught with this much crack, uh, less than a quarter, that you're going to go to jail. You're going to lose all your stuff. It's a mandatory five-year sentence. You're going to lose everything. They're going to seize all your money and everything. They got him saying that. That's his law. But guess what? Guess who son is on, did a video smoking all this here. Nothing happens to him, though. See, you got to understand how they protect their own. But we we are in a situation where it's real technical what's going on now because the 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 the, the enemy is among us. And you don't know the same people that you're voting for is really like like I hate to it's say it's the it. lesser of it's, it's the lesser of it. What that mean, brother? Because either way it goes, you're gonna whoever it is, it's not the right part. You know what I'm saying? It's either not, way it right. goes, it's a grand scheme. It's right. a grand scheme. Whoever it is going, he's the pawn. He or she is a pawn. But it's a, you know, in different ways, it's a little bit more resistance at times. Like you got Donald Trump, and and I'm not a Trump fan, but he is resistant. He re, he he. They can't really control him. He was a puppet. They can't control him. He a puppet that couldn't really be controlled. That was his job. So that's why you see now they trying to hurry up and get him out of there because he gonna tell you some of the truth. I ain't gonna lie. That brother is gonna tell you some truth. And when he told us well, how everybody they tell you some truth. No, everybody don't tell you no truth. Biden ain't tell you no truth. He tell you something every now. What, and what truth he told you, brother? He, 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 he give you a little nugget. He, he give you a little nugget every what, now. What, what, what nugget he gave? But go ahead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He ain't gave you no nugget. He, you he, 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 he reading gave, off the paper. You know. Uh, He'd have gave you a, a nugget about ten years ago. 
and tell you how you about to go to jail and if you get caught with it you know what's gonna happen to you either way it goes so but going back to i'm the, apolitical i feel you on that i'm gonna claim that too but getting back to the topic at hand you know why they owe us these millions you know because you can be like oh man they on there just going off topic and we don't understand why they owe they, they owe these millions because of generational wealth because a lot of their families a lot of their uh grandfathers was able to pass down those companies was able to pass down that wealth you know i know people that got land in south carolina they don't even care about the land i know people in north carolina that owe a whole strip of uh industrial buildings right now i was trying to get i was trying to rent one listen man i remember um i literally sold a car when i was in charlotte to um one of the, the one of the belks right and literally had to deliver the car to the belks um estate right this estate is freaking huge and immaculate i mean i'm 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 driving up to this thing like man where the and it's way out in the country like it's in the middle of nowhere basically but it's huge and it's and it's illustrious and it's like you you drive up to me like wow so the belks cotton for those of you guys don't know where the belts get their money from they got it from the cotton uh, from from selling cotton so 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 i'm saying you're you know these names so you're talking the belts you're talking about these people like the chase that you know what i'm saying the, the bank most of these banks most of these uh the, the belts most of these uh what's the uh sears and Rowe, are all these all these people that, that family have to, names these family names mm-hmm. these family names got most of their if not all you know if not all but most of their income and wealth mm-hmm. off the backs of us and our and our ancestors yeah but let me give you let me give you another one though right because this brother was he was he he uh, they said he was a little had a little black in him right but he was so radical of course with giving the the slaves you know that uh, or can uh general uh 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 general uh let me get my names right giving general uh sherman i was about to say that giving general sherman that okay to go ahead and get them slaves that land and then doing some some slave acts um lincoln they were so i found out they were so against and so upset with this brother not only did they smoke him and get him out of there but they also banned anybody from taking his last name there's a lot of lincolns where (laughs) <laughs> when the last time somebody said my name is Lincoln now I do know a lady her last name is Lincoln I was like how your last name get Lincoln she was like it's a long story but she is related to the Lincolns man you ain't tell me it, it, uh, uh, put something in the comment if you know somebody with the last name Lincoln. I went to a concert at that, at that theater and he got shot at that's well, the assassinated that's the where it's in DC wow but I've I've actually gone. I, matter of fact, I went to a, a, a Valentine's Day extravaganza. Yeah, at that at that theater where he got popped. Where yeah, and I sat. I literally sat like uh, diagonal mm. from the booth that he you mm. know said from the the area that he was. At. But yeah, beautiful theater by the way. That's what I'm saying. They got him out of there, you know. And you never heard of none of the Lincolns and everything. And then and then they put. They put his name because he was rallying. He was an abolitionist to a certain extent, but he said he was black. They put his name on a penny. They put his face on the penny, the Copper. most worthless piece of money that it is. They did this. Copper. They did this. Was it because he had some, was he mulatto? He was a little mulatto. That's what he said. They say he really was a brother undercover. I thought they said he was a vampire slayer. I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> But that brother was put on the most worthless piece of money. You know what I mean? They could have put him on the hundred. They could have put him on the fifty. Oh, they put him on the penny. Brother, get out of here! You throw pennies away. You on a penny? What you gonna do with that? You can do something with a dime or a nickel. So yeah, because things don't cost ninety nine cents no more. So you really can't, you know. And when it did, you was like, man, I ain't got it. You know, I don't got the rest of the time. <laughs> so we have to be more smart about what we're doing, y'all. We have to understand that this is a plan that's being put together once again. 
And if we don't wake up right now, they're going to have new slaves. Slavery is real. And it's, it, 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 you think it's not happening, but they got so many brothers, over a million, almost close to two million brothers in the penitentiary. I think it's like it went from three a one of three to two or three or something like that. Like two out of three. I want to say two out of three brothers is in the penitentiary. Two out of three. Or it might be two out of four. It's one of them two. It's close. It's, it's, close, one, it, close. It, it's a crazy number right now because it keeps changing. Look at the cycle. That's why they don't want to do nothing about Chicago. They like, okay, no, let that do what it do. They can easily find a way to try to mitigate that. And a lot of that is people ain't got no jobs and they ain't got no bread. Right. So they, you know, and then a lot of, you know, they put the drugs in there. They setting that up. That's what they call a self-cleaning oven. Let that clean itself up. We ain't worried about that right now. Where wherever it's crime and people getting killed that, especially in the black community, we not worried about that. But you're not gonna see that. You're not going to see that in certain environments. They not allowing that to happen. Well, I first of all, let me say this, because I have to say this because it's on my heart to say. So four hundred years if you really want to think about it because I've, I've been hearing 400 years since I was a kid yeah right and so if you really do the math 400 years would have been 2019 right so we've literally been enslaved re yeah um, mentally ooh because a lot of us aren't free thinkers right and and we still have a slavery mentality. Facts. And so which is why, you know, the crab in the barrel mentality. Yeah, Willie Lynch. Like my man um Carlos, I think the caller. Mm-hmm. Um Carlos, um, the competition. Mm-hmm. Because how can we as a people come together and rise up if we're always in competition? Right. But we've been taught competition since slavery. Mm-hmm. And we've never gotten rid of the competition. Now I heard um, my boy Kevin Hart on his Heart to Heart series talking about this. Mm. You know, if you succeed, I don't. I mean, if, if you succeed, I don't. I, I, I praise you. I, mm. I want you to succeed. Mm. If you need, you know, what I'm saying, if you need me for whatever the case is, you know, what you need, you know, or whatever the case is, it shouldn't be a competition. It shouldn't be a resentment. It shouldn't be competition it should be oh that's my brother he needs to do xyz and we can get more together done Mm. um that we can get more done together than we can get done separately right now of course you got your lane i got my lane Mm. but you know things like this if we come together right and teach you know talk um and do things together then of course it does more good for the culture yeah then if i was to do my thing you do your thing and Mm -hmm. then we're just competing right against each other for and we're doing the same thing right you know what i'm saying so Mm -hmm. it it comes to a point to where we got to get rid of the competition right we got to get rid of the crab in the barrel mentality we got to start you know looking at trying to do things productively together that's why we need reparations brother because it ain't gonna be none of that when you have to worry about your income but what if we get re- well, well see it, again if our minds don't change your mind will change no, over no, no, time no 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 if what what good does it do me right to give me x y z hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah if I'm not, so if I'm programmed to give it right back to whoever, but it is. but but you we see we that's the problem also is we don't know because it's all programming, right? It's all a test. It's all a everything that's going on right now is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a test run, right? These these phones right here are test runs. They they run and test. They seeing how it affects you mentally, how it affects you. Right. One thing I could tell you is putting more money into the black community will be a positive effect. I, I'm, I don't dispute that it be have some positivity, but what I can say and what I am trying to say is, you give me, you put, you you empty X Y Z amount of money inside the black community. At a time where the black community is one of the, I'm, I'm listening to you. At a time where the black community is one of the most, um, we we spend the most money. We do. I want you to hold that thought for one okay. second. We got we got the brother Carlos call back in, and we need to hear this. Brother Carlos, give us some news we can use. All right, I hear you guys talking about um, 
being on one accord in the competition. Um, and I wanted to say this: everybody's not going to be all. Every, not, everybody's not going to be down for the cause. You know, just like the movie 300. As long as we have a strong 300, you know, that's down for the cause, we're in. You know, because everyone that received the reparations, they're going to do their own thing. And a lot of people, you know, even in the black community, don't care about what's, you know, the situation that we're in, you know. But they're going to do their own thing. But as long as we have, like, the movie 300, we have that strong 300, we're good, man. We're good. And also, we need cash payments, you know. Um, we need cash payments, <laughs> direct payments monthly. Um, we, if they want to include education, they can include education. They can include loans. They can include housing housing vouchers, but we need cash payments, direct payments with this, you know, um, because, you know, we don't want to be, you know, we don't want to be, it to be like the last, you know, like they said, hey, we want, you know, they, we're going to give us 40 acres in a move. We need, in a mule, we need cash payments direct. All right, I'm gonna, you know, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I just had to call, chime in. I had to chime in because I know that you guys was talking about, you know, everybody's not, you know, what everybody's going to do. And, you know, everybody's not going to be down for the cause. I got you. Right. Okay, appreciate brother. the call, man. So, so I have to, I have to go into this. You got it. Cash payments, right? You got it. Come on. All right. So the number is 10 to 12 trillion dollars. Right, that's the number that I got from Uncle Sam, and then um, out of that ten to twelve uh, trillion dollars, each black person gets, if I'm not mistaken, the number was three hundred and sixty, uh, three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Okay, that sounds about person. right to me. That right? sounds about right. A Bentley costs a a, 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 a low end Bentley, just mm-hmm. a regular Bentley. Yeah, costs two hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Right. Depending on where you're living, mm-hmm. and of course, you know, everybody gonna want to get a car, and everybody gonna want to get a house, body mama house, whatever the case is. And so, a a typical three to four bedroom house, right, with a nice yard in Atlanta, and you know, uh, let's say Fort Lauderdale. Let's say you go out because you go out to California, they way more expensive. Mm-hmm. You go to New York, they're way more expensive. Let's, mm. let's even say um, Austin, which is a up and coming city in Texas, mm. right? So you buy a four bedroom house with a nice yard, nice decent yard somewhere in those nice, you know, rural areas. You're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of right around about three hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, okay, or more, mm-hmm. right? You only got three hundred and sixty, okay. So again. What I'm saying is the mindset because we as a people haven't been taught to invest. We haven't been taught to ownership. We haven't been taught. But we know. have. But we have. I'm going to tell you why. Because of this right here. This right here is educating people at a faster rate than ever in the history of man. So you can't tell me that somebody gets some money that they not yeah, the factuators of having money and going to spend it and do something with it, yeah, you probably do some dumb stuff. You know, you probably do something. But if somebody go and spend a 360 on a house, that's not necessarily that dumb because now they got equity and they have some collateral. So that's really a smart, and they got somewhere to live. Now they got something to pass down to their kids and they got some land. Okay, so that's the house. So what happens if somebody goes and buy? That two hundred fifty thousand dollar Bentley, we gonna find them. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna find them now if they right. buy the two fifty Bentley, and, and and that's just the base, and 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 put it in the business name, then they can write the the purchase off and utilize it for something else. But we coming to find you if you if you pay if you pay for the Bentley with the reparations, we come we gonna find you. We gonna find you. I ain't gonna tell you what we are gonna do to you, but we gonna find you. Because but it got to be some accountability but that's for what, that. But that's what I'm saying. We as a culture, we need to have conversations to where people know how to go and get an LLC, LLC yeah. or go get an ink 
or go get you know what i'm saying a soul prop yeah but whatever I, the case is. I do feel like we back to the, we're getting back to that consciousness and that's why they got to break it up now because they see we getting we are getting back to that consciousness because information is spread so far and so fast right now that people are waking up a little bit you got invest fest that just happened in, in, in atlanta with all these people that's investing all these black folks you got you know things happening down here in miami you got things happening in north carolina you got people around that's waking up right but yeah, you know they people, don't have no money right the woke coach yeah but people is a lot more woke than you think than we think right you know but but you put the money in their hands it's only so much stuff you're gonna be able to buy you're gonna invest something either but if they investing in the slave corporations like the tommy hill figures these are people that 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 was that was um nazis back in the day the hugo boss these are people who help nazis with their clothing they made clothing for nazis the hill figures the hugo boss gucci the louis vuitton they made they made um luggage for the um the nazis and stuff like that they were racist black people didn't have no leave with times back in the day you would you 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 couldn't have you couldn't even afford that you know and, and you was looked upon and shone down if you had that so why are we wearing that now well we know why but if you do that and you spend your money on that then we're gonna find you we're gonna find you <laughs> that's all i gotta say we're gonna find you so that's that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying yeah. is we need it because we need to change the, the 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 mentality first. But the white people ain't changing their mentality. But the white people ain't like, haven't been generationally um, brought up and and raised in, in in the things that we have. That's what I'm saying. So so, so they not because like there, there, there's a lot there's a lot of Uncle Bubbles out there, and oh, you know who facts. and you know who the Uncle Bubble is. The Uncle yeah. Bubble is the the one that's telling you. You know, don't don't do that because he can't do it. You know what I'm saying? The right. one is laying on your the laying on your mama couch, yeah, telling you, oh boy, you know X Y Z. You know what I'm saying? The Uncle Bubble. So yeah. there's a lot of Uncle Bubbles out there, and then there's a lot. Like I talked to a young lady today who um had a business, and I'm sitting there trying to tell her, hey, listen, a smart business person does not use his own money, right? You know what I'm saying? And because she, if you got to, I mean, nah, I ain't smart then, because that's so. Angry. But but the but the but the 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 more successful, if you got a, if you have the, the more successful individuals, if you have access to capital. Again, let me finish the statement. Okay. Okay. So the more successful individuals, you know, your billionaires, your trillionaires, and so forth. They're not using their own monies to build their business. They're using other people's capital. You understand what I'm saying? And so, yes, if I'm sitting here providing you with capital, I'm calling you. I'm sitting here because you've requested. So I'm calling you, asking you, hey, how much do you need? And yes, there's a there's a there's a there's a uh, uh, you know, there's a there's a process of how much I can literally give you based on what you what your business is you know producing on them on a, on a on a monthly basis right but if i'm sitting here calling you telling you hey i'm finna give you some capital why would you sit here and refuse it why why would you do that i mean it's a lot to go it's on a there. mindset it, it, i mean but it i mean you know as an entrepreneur I, I would have to double think that too like because you know you just don't want to be taking money from anywhere no, but if, it's, but if it's a reputable, yeah, if it's reputable still, you know what I'm saying? And so if it's a reputable establishment that's calling you to say, hey, listen, you know, X, Y, Z, right? You know, because if you went to, I tell people this all the time. And, and again, I'm not trying to, you know, well, you know, my thing is you got to check your mindset because your mindset, I don't give a dog on if I give you a hundred million dollars. If your mindset ain't right, you just gonna squander that hundred million. I feel you on that, but we still need it anyway. <laughs> we still, and I don't care what you do with it. We because, still need because it. if your mindset ain't right, then the young lady yeah. you was talking to, she's absolutely right. You ain't gonna do nothing but 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 give it away. But I I, I beg to differ. I, I plead with you that is more people that got their mind right, African Americans in America that don't got their mind right. We not just you know we 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 gonna have some some type of 
you know, struck they're gonna have some structure behind it, believe me, where it's a situation where you can't buy this, you can't buy that, you can't buy this. Well, how you, you know? gonna get how you gonna get somebody some money but put stipulations on the money that they Man, they that always money. been doing that. <laughs> they gave us welfare, they put some stipulations on that. They gave us all this well, if know, they go, PPP I mean, money, they put stipulations on that. Well, all I'm saying is listen, if you're gonna give me the money, right? And it's money that is well, you know, because I'm it's a money that's that, old that, too. That, because I'm a descendant of a slave. Yeah. Right? Then how are you gonna tell me what I can what I can and can't do? It's always what you gonna tell me I can't go get some J's because I, I cause, go you know get you some J's. You know, you need get get you know, do whatever your heart desire, but invest. But we need that money in our community. Right. And I'm not, I'm not disputing that with you. All I'm saying is, yeah, we do need the money. We don't tell the Indians how to spend their money. The natives. We do need the we do need the money in our community. So please don't get it twisted. We don't tell don't the natives how to spend their money. That, that, that. You go to the casino. You lose all your bread when you go to the casino. They don't offer you nothing when you walk out the door. But correct me. <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong, though, right? Because okay. I might. I might be wrong. So I please correct you. me if I'm wrong. I can help you with that. All the money that goes through the casino does not go to the natives. No, they they heavily tax. I'm sure some some other ways that it go about. But the casinos is strategically placed in in the poorest communities around the country. You don't see cas- casinos in the rich areas. You see them in the poor areas. Except for your Vegas and your Atlantic cities. But when we're talking about your, your Biloxi's, and when you're talking about your, your Atlanta's, when you're talking about your uh, uh, Chicago's, you know, outside of Chicago's, you know, you're talking about, you know, Gary, Indiana, when you're talking about Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you know, these are places where it's centrally, strategically located in areas that is just ciphering money from the hood because the white people they they good they don't have to go to the casinos well it's entertainment for them yeah it's, 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 entertain. it's entertainment exactly. for them it's more of a you know um i, w- I don't want to use the word necessity but it's more of a uh, what's it called for detroit yeah you know yeah. what i mean i can go on and on you know but 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 here's the thing you know outside of north carolina right now but going to biloxi though i can say this because you know i'm from Pensacola, yeah, so you, biloxi, that way. you know but there is more of the other race that goes to the casino i can dig people. that you know they call that the hillbilly um what they call it the hillbilly um oh, watch your mouth man you're talking about my negative words. well it's true <laughs> it's the hillbilly something i think uh the hillbilly something i forgot what i don't know i've told. never i've never heard that before but go ahead we getting a little loose with the with the with the with the lips, but I'm just yeah. saying. But it's it's all good though. I, I, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's a it's a much needed conversation. Yeah. Um. And again, you know, coming from you know where I'm from, and then of course having the 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 the, the, the know with all of how and what from a financial standpoint. Um. All I'm saying, I'm not saying, and please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm not saying that we as a culture don't need our reparations. That's not what I'm saying. But I want to, matter of fact, um, Dave Chappelle made a parody about it on the on the Dave Chappelle show about the reparations and how black folks act when they got the money. Yeah, it ain't funny though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, yes, we do need it. Yes, there's a lot of great that can come from it. All I'm saying is, if I get it and I spend it, then now you know what I'm saying. And now the next person got to worry about. They gotta watch their back even more because now I know you got some money. That's hypothetical, though. <laughs> That's hypothetical. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying that you can't really say what a race would do when they receive money like that. You just can't say that. We might change around and be, you know, why they ain't giving it to us? Let's talk about that. Why they ain't giving it to us is because they know that it's a lot of us out here that got a head on our shoulders yeah. that would take that money and become billionaires. Right, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to give it to us because they know we're gonna buy up all the property, we're gonna buy the land, we're gonna really thrive, and that's not the goal. The goal is not for the African Americans to be thriving, especially the African American men. We don't want y'all to be thriving. The goal is for extinction of the African American people. That's why the brother Carlo said something that was was cold. He said we need to be a protected people. We do. We need to be classed as a protected people because when you're here in America everybody hates black people and I'm just saying that like it is well yeah so so, and I was thinking about this this morning I'm glad you said that because I saw a police officer pull somebody over right 
and I said to myself, why is it? Because I've I don't I've never seen it. When a police officer pulls over a white person, you don't see four or five cars pull that one person over. But when a police officer pulls a black person over, you see four or five cars come to one to come to the to the stop. Negroes is kind of dangerous. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna just keep it real, especially down in Miami. Like, you know what I'm saying? You but know but, what but you're I don't get. care where you is in the United yeah, States. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's I've true. never, I've never seen, and I might be wrong, so please correct me okay. if I am. I've never seen a Caucasian individual get pulled over. Say it's a white female, right? I've never seen a white female get pulled over, and you see four or five. Back of car. I hate to say it, but I have. I, it, it's been on the highway though. It's been on the e-way where you know they, you know you, you they do that. They they get them random white chicks. They be having them drugs in the car too. They be having them in the car. But on a consistent basis, no. But African Americans have become a lot more of a threat. Let's just be real, because these people jumping out, giving the police the business. So. I know some black police that I had a discussion with a while back that that actually told me they was they was kind of afraid. You know, when you get out and but why are you to, afraid though? Because Negroes then lost their mind. And then and then of course you know I'm an ex soldier, right? All right. And so I also was in in the midst of thinking about what I was thinking about about the yeah. all the people, you know, the backup cars, right? As a soldier mm-hmm. that is protecting the country, right? In war or whatever, we're taught to de-escalate, right, right. And so the first shot goes in the air, second shot is oh, a wound man. shot. Come on now, no, no, no. I'm but again. I hear you, but these guys jumping out with stuff that go, and they're not, they're Come not overseas. No, really, no, really. Well, let's go. They to- got AKAs and all. You know what I'm saying? Where? Huh? Where? Dude, if you go to Afghanistan and no, go to Iraq talking, or whatever let's, the case let's is, get away they, from Af- <laughs> let's get away from Afghanistan. Let's get away from Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? Dude. And let's get away from Iraq. Tell me another country that got them things. Israel. Besides that, Israel, Afghanistan. Every country has an Iraq. AK. Tell me what other country got them pistols. Got AKs? Let's get away from the A. What other country got them pistols? Got nine millimeter pistols in general, thirty eights, whatever, any okay. type of pistol you want. What other country got you the pistol? Israel. No, that's is besides Israel, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Name you a one country that they got them pistols. Well, right now they got them over in dog. Uh, what are they fighting that war at right now? Um, in. They gave we gave them the pistol. We gave we give everybody they pistols, had a pistols and AKs and what's called. It ain't no other country that got them pistols like that. That's a, that's a lie. Where they, I hate what, to say what that. What country? Huh? Guess what? Every, uh, America provides arms to every country in the world. Guess, guess what? what? Brazil didn't even have crack cocaine until 1960. They didn't know nothing. We're well, not crack cocaine in general. Brazil is one of the most dangerous places on the planet right now. Guess what? They didn't have no guns until the eighties. They, well, they got them no gun. They they ain't got guns like that. They got a couple pistols. They here. got them now. And they got a couple pistols. They will kill you with these. <laughs> now this is what they dangerous no, with. You mess around and go to Brazil in the wrong spots of Brazil. They dangerous ask, with ask these. That Olympic dude that uh, yeah yeah they, they had they, they literally ain't got, got no pistols like that. Listen, they got a couple. Listen, but they got these though, bro. It's weapons all over the world, and, Amer- weapons, and, 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 and America yeah. has provided them. And you ain't getting no pistols in Asia. You might as well get about it. Okay. Now you okay. might catch a couple pistols in Africa, area, spread it around for sure. Oh yeah, they got yeah. some pistols over they there. They got some things for you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a whole other story. But listen, <laughs> but all I'm, but all I'm saying is, in, 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 you know, I know we're going down, you know, the, the boulevard right now, <laughs> but. <laughs> But what I am saying is, if you if you if we're trained as soldiers to shoot one in the air, shoot a shoot a wound shot, and then of course the kill shot, if you if if necessary, right? Then why aren't police officers trained the same exact way? They scared, bro. And it's not that it's not that. What you want? Like why they not trained the same way that soldiers are trained? They wouldn't expect that, to be that, fighting no war, huh? 
they wasn't expected to be fighting no war. They're the ones starting the war. I'm just saying though, they weren't expected who who graduated and went to went to the academy thinking they finna go into a war zone. But but they but the police is the ones that starting the war. But then again, the police they ain't was, just the but, ones starting the war, brother. Yeah, they are. The police been starting the war bro, since they is is retarded black that's men biggest, out here, bro. I, I I used to literally say that the the biggest gain is the military, but that's not true. The biggest it's, gain on the planet is the police force. We can you can say that if you want to, that's fine. But it's some real They're ignorant. Bullies. It's some real ignorant black dudes out here. Wait, wait, wait. It's some real ignorant. It's some real ignorant people. Period. I'm not, not just black. for sure. I'm but, talking about in the hood. If you was a police officer in the hood, and I I'm I'm not no police. I don't do police things. But what I'm saying, if you were police, because I've talked to some police, I know some people that's police, black police, and they told me they like them dudes is crazy they out there. If if they scared, then they count. Well, we want to see you, Mr. Flowers, go get called to a um a, a shots fired call and you roll up in the hood. Go ahead. Let's see what you're gonna do. And you see old boy out there with that that Draco. How you gonna handle that? I'm gonna do what I gotta do, okay. but I ain't gonna be no Period. I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna be no I ain't gonna be no Black Lives Matter. matter. <laughs> I don't you know what I don't support that though. Uh, we gonna get into that. We not even gonna <laughs> touch that right now. We better wrap this thing up, y'all. We want to touch some more. I just want to be mad if you want to. I do not support Black Lives okay, Matter. Okay, that might be the next topic next week. Listen, uh, read, oh, read, read the bylaws. I ain't all mad at you. We, you know, they got their reparations. They done made millions. They they got them high, big house man, mansions and all this hey, shit. They was endorsed they by... They got their reparations. But read the bylaws. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to get ready to wrap this thing up. We was talking read about... Read the <laughs> we were talking about reparations and why America owed us millions. Because if you do the math, we talking about four hundred years times some money. Mister Mister Flowers said it's to the tune of twelve trillion or something like that. Ten right? to twelve trillion. Ten to twelve. Yes. You know, and we need that. I mean, they just gave. I want to say they just gave a couple billion to Ukraine. Ukraine don't have nothing to do with us. We ain't got nothing to do with them, but we know it was an inside job. But just think that billion could have been spread it. But we really need that trillion. We need them trillions, though, because we, we really can do some things. And if they gave them trillions out and everybody got a check every month for five thousand dollars or something like that every month for at least five years. Man, do you know how wealthy our community will be? Do you know how we can give us one thousand dollars and a free education? Man, Gucci would be freaking. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a lot of black companies too, though. All of two, because you know we, we actually, as a people, as a culture, is what is two point two trillion a year? Man, it's crazy, almost three trillion a year. Yeah. But guess what? We can we we will band together and start slapping y'all out the line. You know what I'm saying? Get out there because I'm telling you, when 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 black folks get together, and we start collectivizing and organizing, then things change, brother. You know what I'm saying? Things change. You feel me? And when we come under that un- un- agreement that we're not going to spend none of the bread, you understand me, on no stupid stuff, but we're going to start investing it, and that's what's going on, you know, then we're going to change some things. Hey, listen, man. All I'm going to say is give me my money. Give me my money, too. We need that. You know, I know we didn't get we didn't get all the facts out, and we didn't, we didn't get all the statistics, but we did bring y'all some news y'all can use. And one thing about it is... You know, we got the crew out there. One thing about it is, is that we need something because this, the, this, the fact I'm gonna end off on me personally. Um, they're projecting the African American network, and I believe it's in 2050, but I want to say 2030, to be zero. Zero. It's 20. It's 20. Uh, it's, it's not 2030. I think it was 2040. Is it 2040? Yeah. Or is it 2050? No, it's not 2050. It's okay, 2050. so 2040, they're projecting our net worth to be at zero dollars per black person. All right, so what does that mean to y'all? That means that they're setting their stuff up, investing. They're setting their stuff up because one thing I want y'all to understand is that we care about the income. You know, poor people care about the income, and we poor. We poor sitting at this table. Right. Believe it or not, we poor. Poor people care about their income. Rich people or rich-minded people or people who has been exposed to richness, they care about the outcome. 
You see the difference? Absolutely. They, they don't. They may not make the money right now. I hear all the black people. Oh, I ain't making no money. Uh, man, they care about where they're gonna be in 10, 20 years right now. And it's a lot of different factors that got to do with it because they're not worried about getting killed. They're not worried about if they go to the corner store, somebody might start shooting. They're not worried that they got to pay their child support and they might go to jail. There's a lot of things that they don't have to worry about. So they can be focused on 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Well, also, um, they're changing the money platform. And so you're going from the traditional dollar uh, tax, uh, the, the revenue, the IRS or whatever the case is. You're going from that to crypto. Yeah. And so the QFS is what it's actually called okay. the quantum financial system. Mm-hmm. And so everything's moving from paper to digital. Right. And so that, that, that quantum financial system is the, just the game changer. Yeah. And so if you are not investing in, and in, in leave them doggone NFTs alone, mm-hmm. but if you're, if you're not investing in anything um, productive from a crypto standpoint, and I'm not just talking about Bitcoin or Solana or Ethereum or whatever this is. If you're not if you're not in the crypto game for the long haul, you need to be. Well, I would I want to piggyback and say all of that. You got to be careful. You got to be careful too because you have you have big platforms like Coinbase that have just um, arrested and um, are getting ready to charge a number of guys for insider trading to the tune of three hundred million dollars or better. And then you have them, um, uh, specifically corn-based platform specifically that's facing um, bankruptcy. Um, so they're 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 losing everything they have, and they're already going to bankruptcy. And when they file for bankruptcy, that's your money that's going with it. Right. But I'm I'm not saying um, like Robin Hood and and uh, but Coinbase is some Coin of the biggest bank. places. That was one of the bigger ones. You know, you can't get it from. Uh, 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 Cash App. You can get Bitcoin, but you can't get any other ones from Cash App. So you gotta be mindful when you get ready to do that because if you do that and they file for bankruptcy, then that money is not actually money because they they hold your wallet. So if they hold your wallet, they taking that with them, and there's no refund. Right. So a lot of people don't know that. So you gotta be careful with that. And they they the FCC and things like that. They're putting together regulations that's going to stop those rogue um coins from going it's going to be an american crypto dollar well when they when they started sending out your stimulus packages they actually signed in the in in, it was a into that bill that america was to create their own crypto yeah of course as i stated before miami already had miami was one of the first cities to actually have their own crypto right but it's Um, bankrupt now yeah and so you actually have um you know but again crypto digital monies is the it's the future it is and so do your due diligence definitely and start trying to figure out where to put your money at as far from a digital standpoint it's a short term thing though because they're going to bankrupt most of these coins because they're not backed by anything they're just programs they're just um uh blockchain utilization platforms but a lot of those are not going to survive. They're, they're, they're what they call shit coins. You know what I mean? So you have the top three, you know, that that really the top one is not even Bitcoin. It's Ethereum because everything is based around that. Right. That's but the, that's the pro. That's the platform. When they when they turn around and make all that illegal or make that not really anything, which is not anything now, it's just all everybody else money coming together. I want you to understand that the crypto rise and crypto is valued off of everybody else putting their money in there because the crypto has no value. You see what I'm saying? So we have to really be careful with that. Put your money into some long-term stock investments. We need to talk about that. The, look, we didn't got off reparations. Now we talking about stocks and, and, and crypto. But I don't necessarily agree with that statement. But okay, okay, well let's get let's get a let's <laughs> let's get a, we gonna get a um we gonna get a a, a a platform together for that. Okay, that's gonna be a show because I'm gonna make sure I get my homework together because I know something about this investment and I don't make a lot of money off investment. I'm like I'm no wizard or anything, but you know um, I, I actually went i actually went to um uh, when they had the crypto event yeah i actually went today okay so it's it's quite a few things that's that's taking place from a crypto perspective get your facts together 
I'm gonna get my facts together. And it may not be the next show, y'all, but we're gonna we come gotta, together. We, def- we definitely gotta give the people what they need. And we're gonna understand how this how does money work? You know what I'm saying? How does money work? You feel me? In the future of money. You know what I mean? So, you know, we just wanna know we, we look here, keep rallying for what you believe in, keep saving your money, keep putting your money up. Um, they owe us millions. You better believe that. You know, we one of the lost tribes, we are the lost indigenous people. Um, we've been brought to America. We didn't come here free willingly, and we've been behind every since we got here. You know, and they made sure we was behind every since we got here, and we still behind. And they working feverishly to make sure we never catch up. So you better keep that in mind when you get ready to go support these um, Nazi um, Gucci's and these these Nazi based families and these 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 rogue families that that's you know making millions off your retarded self you know what i'm saying and i hate to use that word um based on me um really um you know striving for mental illness awareness but um it's just all the way backwards you know it's just all the way backwards but the forward thing is let's get smart people let's invest like mr flowers say you know what i'm saying yes Let's put our money in the right place. And we need reparation. We need to build our own communities up because they coming into our communities, buying our houses, buying everything. And then they kick us out because you got a little bit of money off the house. They kick you out and then they make the house nice. And then they make the block nice. And then they make the neighborhood nice. And you can't even come to where your well, grandma used to have her house but, at. But but the block was nice when we got there. And then it was we nice ran, when and, we got and there. And then we ran it down. So we lowered the property value. We didn't have no money though. Want no money to fix it up, Mr. Flowers? That's besides the point. If we take care of our stuff, you a lot of us, a lot, a lot of us don't take care of our stuff. They, they a lot rip. of us ain't out there cutting yards, and a lot of us ain't out there, You're right? You know, uh, 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 cleaning the gutters, and, and and you know what I'm saying. But they, they knocking the whole house down. Well, I mean, when you run your neighborhood down, because guess what? They're getting approved for new bills at an unfair rate. But when you're running your neighborhood down and lowering the property value, and you're killing everybody, you know what I'm saying? You're killing everybody on, killing the, on the blocks. They're just stuff. killing so folks on the block. You 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 running your property. You are running your mama, your grandmama, them property value down. Then you get the little old hundred thousand. That money gonna be gone. Faking that's some money, and that ain't no money. That little old hundred thousand. I ain't gonna tell you. Listen, that little that old hundred no thousand gonna be gone, or you know it. And so, yes, we if once we start. Um, taking pride in our stuff you know what I'm saying holding our stuff down like grandma with them used to do then we'll be alright you know what I'm saying because I, I don't know too many people that's out there cutting yards no more they they just rather go hire the dog on Mexicans to come out to cut the yard ooh the Mexican coming up I ain't mad at y'all either I want to do some business I'm doing business with a Mexican right now or or, 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 or instead of you know, you and your sons, or whatever the case is, getting out there and fixing the roof or painting yeah. the house. We go get the people to, you know, what I'm saying we go get them boys to come do. But you know, it is what it is. That's that's just where we at right now. Always oh, too hot to go out there and do X Y Z. Hey, we are gonna end this cast off on a good it's one. Been- <laughs> you know, we doing good in our community. Let's keep doing good. Let's keep investing. Let's keep reading. Let's keep understanding. Let's keep opening our chakras. Let's keep meditating. Let's keep vibing. Let's keep staying woke, y'all. We signing out for the night. Yo, they owe us millions of dollars. You better holler at somebody that you know and tell them we need to start marching for that too. Run me my money. Yeah, in run the, me my in money. In the tune of twelve trillion. We out, y'all. The Status Podcast. See y'all next week. I need my money.